Good morning, viewer. Welcome to our Glory Globe TV. Here's the breaking news. Yes, Pope Francis revealed that the Catholic Church is open to everyone, including the gay community, stating that it has a responsibility to accompany them on their spiritual journey while adhering to the framework of church rules on August 6th. Speaking to reporters on his return flight to Rome from Portugal, the Pope also reassured them of his good health after undergoing surgery for an abdominal hernia in June. He mentioned that his stitches had been removed, but he would have to wear an abdominal band for a few more months until his muscles strengthened, Reuters reported. During the press conference, a reporter questions the apparent incoherence of the church being open to everyone, 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 while not granting the same rights to certain groups such as women and gay people. Regarding scarements, Pope Francis responded that the church welcomes all but operates according to established laws. The church is open to everyone but there are laws and regulate life inside the church. Pope Francis said as reported by Reuters as per this law certain Scarments are not accessible to certain individuals. However, he emphasized that this does not imply exclusion as each person can experience their connection with God within the church in their own way. Regarding the issue of women not being allowed to become priests through the scarment of holy orders and the church stance on same sex marriage, the Pope reiterated that while these were not permitted by church law, the minister must accompany all individuals, even those who do not conform to the rules with the love and presence of a mother. The Pope has been working towards making the church more inclusive and accepting since the beginning of this papacy. He has supported civil legislation that grants rights to same-sex couples in areas like pensions, health insurance and inheritance. While the church teaches that same-sex attraction is not sinful, it considers same-sex acts as against its teaching. During his visit to Portugal for the World Youth Day Catholic Festival, Pope Francis emphasized that the church is welcoming to everyone including those who make mistakes, who fall off struggle, leading the crowd in a chant of todos, 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 everyone, everyone, everyone. While the Pope has initiated several reforms during his tenure, including providing more roles for women in high-ranking Vatican positions, he continues to balance appealing to liberal believers with respecting conservative beliefs within the church. The World Youth Day Catholic Festival in Portugal left him rejuvenated with around 1.5 million attendance at his closing mass on Sunday despite the sweltering heat and he praised the orderly nature and size of the crowds. Ben Dazifod, Glory Globe TV, Delhi, India.